right, what's going on everybody? Brian back with another live stream and we are back with some more Witcher 3. And today we're going to be starting the Blood and Wine DLC. Uh, last episode we finished the Heart of Stone DLC. I had a great time. Um, now, you guys have been talking this DLC up since the day I started playing this game. Literally since day one, everybody, oh, wait till you play Blood and Wine. Wait till you play Blood and Wine. Blood and Wine is amazing. This is, So, hey, it's time. I hope it lives up to the hype because you guys have been hyping it. Hyping it, hyping it. So I'm not going to waste any time. I'm already here in the town. We literally have to go up here and meet the knights from Toussaint. And uh, see what they have. And see what the hell's going on. Can this be the witch, man? It's weird that <sighs> they're in such a random, like, small little middle of nowhere town. Oh wow, and they're decorated. Geralt of Rivia. Ha! Sit with us, Witcher. Found your message on a notice board. You see, Palmerin? I told you. The griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Perrin and Palmerin de Lanfor. Good to see you both. Been years. Be assured, we share your joy. You must forgive us our, uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison that left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. So, plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Palmerin wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. <laughs> but I expect they will be deaf to this. Yeah, completely. We must afford them a chance to stand down. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of Nassim, wrongdoing what's going upon on? hearing words of admonition. Doesn't happen in these lands. Ever. If they do not heed my reprimand, we at least will know we have done all within our means to evade bloodshed. Fine. Naturally, I'll help when Palmerin's rhetoric falls on deaf ears. Excellent. Then we've but to wait for the rogues to arrive. They are coming! Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. Go. Let us go out to greet them. Sexy Zero, how you doing? <laughs> he mean us? I, Palmerin de Lonfall, call upon you to repent. Search your hearts. Do you not see that they are blackened? <laughs> Regular punch and duty here. To prey upon commoners is no honor. To loot their meager stores. Abandon the path of shame, and we will spare you. <laughs> Right, could jest that. Had us a laugh. Now, fuck off while we lose our patience and you lose something else. Nay, hey, wait, Zork. These lads are a lark. Mayhaps they know some tricks. Oi, players! Can you toss balls all loopity like? Or do that thing where one spits fire while the other farts?
Noble Palmerin's giving you a chance. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Do what he says. Or what? Or you'll find yourself fighting knights errant in the pay of the Duchess of Toussaint. And they eat scum like you with their morning porridge. Well, there's three of them. Two turtled up in armor. We'll come back later. Some wench sent them. Folk who say we's a feared of wenches and jesters. Ooh, insulted the Duchess. Not good. Indeed, we cannot let the affront go unpunished. I swear upon the heron you will pay with your own blood. By the crane, villains, ready your arms. Why didn't he shoot it that way? Come on! Are the knights doing anything? I feel like I'm fighting everybody. a lot of bandits. Why do they not emerge? It is over. We have banished the Scantrus, lifted oppression's yoke from their lives. Warned you it'd be like this. Fear you as much as they did the bandits now. Sorry, no fanfares and flowers. You're not in Toussaint. Ah, it is true what folk claim. In the north, no noble deed goes unthwarted. It is time to go home. And we shall, my friend. Come, Geralt. It's time we delivered our message. So fess up. Um, it's how you doing? Such a long way. We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition... Is sacred in Toussaint. All right, fine. Most honorable Geralt, Slayer of monsters and all Ifels nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood, and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the star Cross city's most gracious protectress. Her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Shall you answer her call? Of course. Ray donated $25. Ray. Hope your night is going well. That is a huge donation, man. Thank you so much. Yes, my night is going pretty good, man. We got to start some Fallout 3, which was awesome. Um... And now we're starting some new Witcher DLC. It's a great day. Ray, thank you so much. Anna Henrietta really say all that? Word for word? Well, in point of fact, she said, bring me the Witcher and dare not spare your horses. Only make certain this time he comes alone. The Ducal Chamberlain added the rest. 
You know how it is. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I might add, be it unofficially, that a hefty reward awaits. Mm. Yet the specifics you will need to verify with her illustrious highness. Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever. And the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses, bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When her grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you, promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Beast wields black magic? What makes you say so? The first victim vanished between bites at a feast. Of the feast goers, none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard desperate cries from the street below, where a corpse had just been found. The second killing, similar. A knight in a locked room. Serpents all about the house, guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town square, and killed him there. No one saw, nor heard, a thing. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect, but of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. Anyone tried to hunt it? Knight's Errant, for example? Ha! Many have tried. Baiting, waiting in ambush, but to no avail. The beast is clever. It evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. An experienced tracker. This is what we need, with knowledge of monsters. In short, we need you. Mentioned a tourney. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply, it is too late. The guests have arrived. The best knights of all lands, relatives of the Emperor. The beast could be a threat to others, not just to her grace's subjects. Got it. Before an aristocrat dies, at best it's a scandal. At worst, a diplomatic incident. Uh, I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. <sighs> no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Hmm, demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you, yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, soon as you're packed. Ah, then post haste to Tucson. To Tucson! Of course I play Gwent. And I plan on playing Gwent. I would say I, I am a connoisseur of, uh, of all things Gwent. Mm, this place is beautiful. Toussaint, the land of fluff and wine. Exactly how I remembered it. What? You would find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. No way. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I have watched with your Netflix you series, yep. This, I pledge on the heron!
Is that a Cyclops in armor? Okay, just like that, we're off to the races. It'll stop though eventually. Airborne eighty three donated forty dollars. Airborne, dude, no. What's good, brother? Watching you and your wife stream during the week has been helping uh. me. Plus, Lil Airborne enjoys watching the streams as well. Airborne, brother, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. It's a huge donation, man. How's everything going with the baby, by the way? Seriously, man, that is that that's a lot, dude. I really appreciate that. Big beast tackling it single handed. None too wise. Neither is love born of wisdom, Witcher. So, Guillaume, out with it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet I hear you I'm there, profoundly boy. grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir is yours. A giant this close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath. Rumored to have been a knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this, the Lady of the Lake transformed him into a wild giant and banished him into the Gorgon Hills. So he came back down? Yeah, Why? Several best. times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. 
Damien Delatour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth, then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace. Wow, that was a lot of crown. Okay, so we gotta follow Milton. Oh man, I can't get over how big this area is. That's crazy. Let's see what that new trophy's all about. A rocket. Why not? Get some bonus gold going. Oh, this one. Oh, the 15%. Where did we get this from? King of the swine herds? That's 15% bonus gold. When did I get that? Brave kid, Guillaume. Parmenin oversaw his upbringing. Guillaume is his kid. Mutations in Grandmaster Witcher gear. In Blood and Wine, you can undergo additional Witcher mutations to unlock new capabilities. Soon you will run into a messenger who will deliver a very interesting letter. Read it and investigate the story of the professor who will learn more about these mutations. Okay. They say that a master craftsman lives in Tutsa who can craft Witcher gear un equal quality. There's more to see. Okay, the, the Grand Master gear, we already know about that. It's a very, very beautiful area. When I was a young man, we had heroes, the mortals, I watched. Can't get used to the way you knights talk, especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and well, near normal. We are knights errant, in the service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. Gorgeous here. No one here. They must have removed the body already. Let's look around. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Hobnailed boots. Multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Droners? Yes, careful. Oh, I don't know what those are. Some type of rot fiend? When they die, they blow up and shoot spikes everywhere.
Diane, thank you so much for the sub. I do pre Ooh, there it is. Drawn here by the smell of blood. Let's keep looking. Yeah, they're like a mutated uh, rot fiend. Anything taken by the current ends up in these shallows. Yes, the stench is fierce. Only blood-soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Only blood-soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Gonna dive in, make sure they didn't miss anything. Look at the rut. Guardsmen left this site by boat, recently. Probably to transport the body somewhere. I can't get over how beautiful this area looks. Holy shit. So we found a handkerchief. Silk kerchief. Monogrammed DLC. A noble's accessory, clearly. Be nice to know where they took the corpse. What now? This isn't the site of the murder. We know that. Current brought the body here. Corpse got caught in the nets. Guardsmen pulled it out, put it in a boat and took it somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took. We should ask there. Ted, with the super chat, man. For the wife's canned food. Hey, Ted, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much, brother. How you been? Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet. Of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Oh, Meaning DLC. Delacroix? It cannot Delacroix? be. Delacroix? Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes, standing by his companions no matter the odds, fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? He have a lot of them? He did, but I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt, you've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. Guys, I want to thank you for almost a hundred likes already on the stream. Thank you so much. Back to Tucson. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. Zach, how are you doing Once today? Have finished examining the corpse. Be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta? Her Grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. We address each other by our first names in private. 
Never in Pomrin's presence, however. He finds such familiarity offensive. A watering hole for traders, smugglers, boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Tushan. I mean, this place looks better than the, a lot of the taverns I've been in. Man, look at that landscape. They, this is a really, really beautiful map. That calls for a witcher. Many a night shall not sleep with his life. A wild flesh. Got some contracts looking for help. Could be good coin to be made. By my troth, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Naught else, Sir de Peyrak Peyrin. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. This place seems fancy. Even a whiff of crayfish chowder. No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir de Peyrac Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir de Peyrac Peyron. Spare us the petty insults. Geralt is a master of the witchery trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask Geralt, please, or we shall be here till winter. Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... By my troth, to the point, man. You found a body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone nearby? Did you spy anything noteworthy? Anything at all? Not a soul around, just me. As for noteworthy... Hmm, well... What did you see? But be warned. If I hear the sky was red again, <laughs> I saw a head bobbing, eyes bulging, the tongue blue and popped out. Next to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts? They gave me such a fright, I bolted to town fast as my legs would take me, then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Who's that? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Rassel's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Who was that? Woman who just left. Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in, either. Doubtless Linnis, the innkeep's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Russell now bunks with his brother in Vico Faro. I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have defined that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. 
God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. Why, you insolent? Let him talk. The Duchess traits in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, Geralt. It's rehashed street preacher Codsworth. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. Yo, this shit is so good, it's like a fucking movie. They say anything else about the beast? Besides it being a messenger of the gods? The Toussaintois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Picky monster. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Covo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tourney grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah, duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Velen. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing! A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Milton, and good luck. What's in the works today? Swilling? Uh, normally, I'd encourage you to try our famed fisherman's chowder. But alas, we are all out of crayfish. Could replace them with something else. Perch, for example. Replace crayfish with fish? I beg you. What next? Vinegar for wine? Parsley for thyme? Huh? Your nordlings are a pleasant lot, but about cuisine you know nothing. Well, damn, dude. <clears throat> Show me what you got in stock. Oh, wow. A lot of monster cards. I don't, I don't need the Mandrake Cordal. Cherry, this is the one I need. Or was it the Mandrake? Yeah, I think it was the Mandrake, actually, that we needed for the... Uh, make the old goal. Alright, it's cool. So I bought that. Spent a little bit more money than I wanted to, but... Necessary. Gossip? Fisherman talking about anything interesting? Yes, about a Nortling who would replace crayfish with pike. Asked a serious question. Hmm, and a tactless one. I do not if stroke on my clients, and I certainly don't repeat anything I chance to hear. Classy. Oh, wow. So you can win some more money off Gwent Games here. Not likely to taste your famous fisherman's chowder. So maybe we could play some Gwent. What's in the works today? Swilling wine, rolling in the hay? Well, the Gwent music is different. A Skellige deck? What the hell is that?
So that's new. Oh, okay, I'm drawing spice out the ass right now. Honey, thank you so much for the dono. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Ooh. What is that wolf symbol? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa dude. Yo, that is cool as fuck, dude. So, I don't know if you guys know, well, a lot of you guys probably do, but the Skelliga, there's there's certain warriors that can turn into, like, animals, bear, if they eat these certain mushrooms. And, yo, there's, like... Okay. Okay. Wish I could freaking decoy this, but I can't. Um, I might just sack the round. I might give him the round. And then go ham next turn. That way I scrap everything he has. Here we go. Oh, smart man. Smart man. So he didn't play anything into the round either. So he's saving up all his cards to go all in on the last round. Damn, seriously, and I freaking redrew. It's okay, though, because I can use Yen. Oh, what? How did he do that? Was, how did he bring it back? Yeah, okay. Playing another Berserker. Nice, dude. I feel like I'm going to regret playing on the hardest difficulty I went. There it is. Gonna transform that berserker. A 14? He's got an old eared card or no geared. Hmm. Good, good play, dude. Good play, man. Shit. Got me struggling, guys. Got me struggling. We should have it with this, though. Mm -hmm. 
Seriously? My God, dude. <laughs> I've never pushed numbers that big. Swandy donated five dollars. I was about to drop a joke here, but now I just feel bad for you. And this is me putting like, guys, this that's me like 185. Swanny, dude, thank you so much. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I'll play uh, Triss into that. Call it good. So I can bring the two warriors back. Nice. That that's a good move for me. That's really really good. Just gotta watch out for the the dragon. So I'm actually gonna hold off on summoning them back. I gotta I gotta be ready for that dragon card. Bring back a spy, I'm a decoy it. Perfect.
Nice, I got dragon. I can burn that. Or hold decoy, because I might, I might decoy dragon back up. Depending on what happens here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I can, I can, I'm gonna decoy dragon. I'm gonna burn those because those are gonna get big on me again. Yep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna decoy dragon back up, and I should be able to burn all three of those cards. This is gonna, this is gonna hurt. Is this is gonna be, be big right here? There we go. Big damage. That's that's GG. I mean, that's big damage, but... So I was going to be able to bring these knights back. My front line by itself is huge, right? Huge front line. I can double up my back line. Still ain't gonna push no 200 like he did, but. There we go. That's big numbers. Okay, I played that one a little better. Do you like it here? Oh. <laughs> Oof, sorry. Never fair Skellige is here. It's a Gwent quest. Okay, places where uh you can begin new quests from Blood and Wine are marked with a Yep, yep. Okay, awesome. Across the bridge here is that mission. Uh, let's go ahead and check these side quests we just got, though, from from here. So, um, go to the place where the auction is being held. That's the Skellige. Uh, so, yeah, we got some tournaments here for Gwent, which is awesome. Yeah, we gotta obtain this basic skeleton deck, and then there's okay, so you can get the skeleton deck in this. Uh, what is this? Mutual. So meet the merchants at the camp, and then knights for hire. Okay, so there are actually some pretty decent quests here. Let's go knights for hire. Where is this located? That's pretty far down. See if there's any. Let me see if one of these quests are closer by. Yeah, that one's up the road a little bit. That one's not bad. And then what was this one? Yeah, let's go check out that one. Meet the merchants at the camp. Faster. That I should meet the Duchess first. I'll do I'll do one side quest and then we'll go we'll go finish this uh this this hunt. Go check the body in the, at the morgue or whatever. I haven't used o o geared sword yet. No.
landscape is gorgeous. Not so fast, Roach. Camp's abandoned, but a lot of this damage is recent. Swanee yes, donated arrived, five dollars. Too late. An old couple were Should seen having sex still. against a fence. For 40 minutes they went at it, arms and legs going everywhere. When it was over, she said you didn't do that to me 50 years ago. To which the old man replied 50 years ago the fence wasn't electric. <laughs> the girl said straight out of a fairy tale. Yo, it kind of is. Swanee, dude, thank you so much for the dono, man. I appreciate it, brother. Beware of the white terror. Danger zone. Do not enter. Any loss of life or property will be compensated by the court force. Great white terror on the contract. Could be the same damn beast as in the notice, though. A lot of blood. Signs of a fight. Paw prints, beastly ones, that's clear. Just on this spot, though. Hmm. Aerial attack. Must have been. Man, bled to death. Big beast inflicted these wounds. Clear from the claw marks. Must have a toothy smile, too, judging by what ripped his throat open. Draconid. Gotta be. Draconid? Maybe a basilisk. Except these prints don't belong to any variety I know. Just a little different. Area's dangerous. I'd say there's a basilisk nesting around here. He'd be wise to remain at some distance. Yes, I'm familiar with the matter, and quite proud to say a basilisk does nest here. I look after it personally. Look after it? It's not exactly a pet. Beasts murdering folk who come through here. Just a minute. It does not murder those who do not trespass upon its territory. You post those warnings? Indeed. To prevent anyone from coming to any harm. Well, a lot of good they did. Got a freshly mangled corpse right here. Most likely a merchant, the poor bloke. Just today, I learned two traders had chosen this route despite the signs. I came as quick as I could to warn them. Too late, alas. I've instructed my servants. They shall take the body, return it to the family with a generous sum as recompense. Hmm. Pay the victim's family's compensation? Why? These lands have been my family's for decades, granted to us by Duchess Ademarta. Beyond them, the basilisk ventures not, hunts not, it does not kill or destroy. Provided it is not provoked. Yet if it does destroy, if it kills, I compensate all for their loss from my own coffers. Hmm. Your coffers. Got a store of sons and husbands in there to compensate for those shredded by your beast? Naturally, I cannot revive the dead, but I do make generous restitution to their loved ones. Just last summer, I paid a leather tooler's widow 800 crowns. This unfortunate merchant's family to be duly indemnified as well. Claim this to be the last surviving basilisk? How do you figure? The last of this subspecies. Their population was much larger at one time, see? Before the beech forests were felled. Mean to suggest a direct correlation between beechwood forest density and basilisk populations? Indirect, I'd prefer to contend. Beechwood forests are the chief habitat of roe deer, you see. In turn, a staple of the basilisk diet. When roe deer grew scarce, basilisks made humans their staple food. Enter the witchers. 
And thus, we've come to this one last specimen. It's a female. As recently as last year, we still had two. But your cast's mate passed on, alas. Your cast? Should she not have a name? My father dubbed her in honor of my dear departed mother. He your cartoons, how you doing? Wounding, then. Two eggs. That she cast from her nest, alas, when the male perished. Who exactly are you? And how'd you develop such an interest in the beast? Count Borges, happy to be of service. As to the beast, well, this subspecies is our dynastic symbol. The Desalfareses have for centuries signed with the Regulus Platinum. As family legend has it, a female of the species rescued an ancestor, a boy at the time, from a burning building. She took the tyke back to her nest where she fed him as if he were one of her own youngsters. Malarkey. To be sure, but beautiful malarkey it is. Where's the basilisk nesting? Any idea? Of course I have an idea. But you don't really expect me to tell you. Those are not toy swords. I know your intentions. Find it myself then. Easy to track with its distinct paw prints mentioned two merchants, so I might also look for the other corpse. Basilisk scales are usually thicker, not nearly so fine. Could be more sensitive to fire this one. Alas, yeah. it is true. Your cast has a terrible fear of fire. She's a highly sensitive creature. Rid your mind of any thought to kill her. You would destroy the last of a species. Strange. These burn marks. Beasts venom make them. Subspecies must be highly toxic. It is so indeed. A wound from a sterling basilisk festers long. Need to brew a potion that'll neutralize that. Seems like we're about to run into some high speed basilisk. Let's see any other clues? Barrels. Content spilled all over. Must have been tannin in there. Used to treat leather. Beast smashed the barrels. That's how the scent got on the scale. Yo Coco is so very curious. Strong scent. It's beautiful. Cartoons, it's intriguing. beautiful. The barrels, they must have drawn her in. Drawn her to the caravan. Used the balloon pull. Busted barrels slimed with venom. Hallmarks huh? of an attack. Basilisk must have caught the second victim here. Anyway, got two cents. Venom and tannin. Ought to be enough to track the beast. Why track her at all? Your cast is protected. Her death would forever destabilize the ecosystem. Who knows what would happen? I see unforeseeable consequences down the line. Simply refrain from provoking her. Harm her not, and she too will leave you untouched. I've long suspected they do it on purpose. Sent their goods. They seek to lure the Basilisk to destroy their wares. It allows them to demand compensation from their assurers. There's a scent.
Why are we letting this dude follow us? He's going to obviously mess it up. Odors dispersed. Seems to be everywhere. Basilisk must be high in the sky. Blood stains. Clear as day. Sense perceptible again. To the merchant. Just as I expected. Second victim, but relatively unscathed. Basilisk must have been dragging him back to its nest for later. Dropped him for some reason. Wonder why. Hmm. So they knew that it was potential that they were going to be attacked, but they weren't going to lose any money. Super faint, hard to see. Here's something, but it's no basilisk screech. Human voices. Not a bat to roost at its nest with warriors on the prowl after it. It's a feared, all right, on account it senses we Yamal, Harry, prepare the equipment. Beast wandered off some ways. We got to lure it back. And who might you be? Funny. About to ask you the same. They call us the Reavers. Hmm. Reavers? Wouldn't happen to hail from Crinfrid, would you? Aye, we do. But how's it you know? And again, who the hell are you? Geralt of Rivia, I'm a witcher. Know your brethren in arms. Bohold, Kennet and Desbrit, new boy too. Ah, you're that witcher. Aye, Bohold mentioned you. Said you swing a mean sword. A professional. Good, you came along. Could take on the brute together. Talk is the venom something horrifying. Could use another pair of hands. Fee what we've gotten from the guild. We'll share it fair and square. You in? Gentlemen, this hurts my ears and pains my heart. You aim to kill your cast? It cannot be. The creature is protected. If you fear to lose the guild's reward, I shall repay it and reward you doubly to leave the beast be. You cannot slay the last living specimen of a near extinct subspecies. Willing to pay, are you? Long as we do nothing. That's rather novel. What say you to that, master? Far as I know, beasts culled the human race by five already. Ah, damn. Beast has to die. We work together, we'll make quick work of it. After all I told you of your caste, you would murder her? Or oh, you will regret this, friend. I know folk. I shall tell them you slew the last surviving specimen. Sorry, Master de Salvares. Actually, not sorry. A monster's a monster. Silvery, plaid, or polka dotted. Last or next to last specimen. Doesn't matter. It's a dangerous predator that kills humans. Enough said. Herbalists, alchemists, I know many. They will despise you. I shall tell them of a heartless cur who cares not an ounce for balance in nature. You shall pay arms and legs for their wares. More! Somebody plug this lord in's gob, eh? Right, Master Witcher. How do we aim to fight the filth? We've crossbows. Comply with bolts while you do the hack and slash. 
or all go at it as a bunch, blades in hand, fire in our hearts. You decide. You're the one with experience. Use your crossbows, keep her on the ground. Good idea. Do you say her? It's a female, yeah. Hear that, lads? We've a lot Should have chose the second here. answer? Hundred spans out. But why? And he spotted what the lizards got between. I want to see it. <laughs> right now, lads. It's my job as a witcher, you know what I mean? Ready your crossbows. All good and fine, but the monster's not in its nest. Gotta track it down first. Not at all necessary, Geralt. We looked into it. Gave it a think. Traders use tannin to lure the beast. Who says we can't do the same? You got any tannin? Came into a bit, aye. Yeah, willing to do the honors. You don't get the right it is no mount. There. Grab your bellies! Shoot the bitch down! Well, it just looks like a basilisk. It's not even cool. Like that to fight to the true witch's side. Prime the way you swung that razor, mate. Mention some fee from a guild. I hear you right. Ha! <laughs> Witcher drives right for the gut. A professional, right thorough. Your share, friend. Every last copper as we agreed. 
We'll collect us a few of them silver scales and the tail. Proof for the guild, right? And we'll get word of you to some folk. Merchant folk, meaning. They ought to treat you right. Thanks, and farewell. So is there actually like... My poor young cast. Cruelly slaughtered. Like a common beast. Look at me, old Squire Stop steel sword. Let him be. Was there a reason to not kill it? Like, a, like, was there a good reason to not kill it, or? Oh shit, I can't even use this. What? I'm not a high enough level one? I've never seen that. Wow, that's a pretty good sword. That's a really good sword. <laughs> I haven't run into a weapon that I couldn't use in a long time. That was a pretty cool that was pretty cool though. I thought it was gonna be some like super high speed flying chicken, but it was just like a normal ass flying chicken. All right, so let's head back over here. Then we're gonna hit the, uh, we'll hit these uh, question marks here real quick. <whistles> then we'll go check that corpse. Whoa! Oh, not killing it gets you one step closer to the best sword in the game. Let's go. So if I kill it, that means I could not ever get the best sword in the game. Even know what these are. I don't know what these are. They're, they seem like they're like specters of some sort. Alright, so I should have checked my, uh...
Arrow light is the silver sword you want to get. Oh, shit. Let me see. I want to see what those things we just fought were. I thought they were, uh, they looked like specters to me. Yep, they are. So yeah, Yarden, Axie, Specter Oil. I'm surprised they didn't uh, classify that last dude that we fought in the DLC as anything. The demon guy. Faster. Damn it. Peace to our domains. Flaunt it. Come on. John, how you doing? Nothing to see here. Move along. What happened? Busted ribs, blood from the ears, took a solid hit. Throat torn open by man like jaws, man like, except for long fangs, massacred by a vampire. Not an Ekimara, though. Or Flutter. Bruxa. Gotta be. Bruxa? What is a Bruxa? Oh. So a Bruxa is a type of vampire? They dart about with uncanny speed and with their power of invisibility. Oh, shit. Wait, um, what was that thing from the, 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 the show? Remember the, the season two? Was that, was that little girl thing? Was that a Bruxa too? That was feeding off that curse dude? Oh, that was it? Oh, shit. So, Yarden, Black Blood Potion, Vampire Oil. I don't even know what the Black Blood Potion is. Do I even have that? Yeah, okay, we do.
dust could be lifesavers. A single blow. Woman from the inn was wearing this coat. Oh shit, the daughter? In the cellar, gotta be. Claw wounds from five separate claws, spread of a small human hand. Attacker had no trouble knocking over the cart. We gotta craft that later on so I can get my superior vampire potion. Footprints. Small bare feet. Lead deeper into the cellar. Fell down the stairs. Broke his neck. Killed so many people. Like, how powerful is this thing? against the wall with great force. We're about to be in trouble, guys. Took a lot of strength to batter this down. Used this to batter down the grate. You saw you at the inn. know what you are. Don't know why you killed these people, though. Clearly wasn't for their blood. What is that hand? We don't have to fight. You are wrong. I cannot let you leave. Oh shit, yo, that's cool as fuck, dude. All right, we already got the vamp oil. Um,
Yo, that was a cool ass fight. Carry all these men to get to the body. What was she doing at the table, though? Just as I thought. Laid in water for some time. Head swollen, and something took a few bites out of it. Hmm. Something in the throat. A pouch bulging with coins. Nelfgardian florins from several different provinces. If the murderer did this, means we're dealing with a sentient thinking beast. Body was chopped up after death. Blows struck with great force, but bones sliced through, not crushed. Creature that killed him had long claws, sharp as a witcher's blade. First sank its claws into the victim's heart. No Bruxa did this. Third hand. A spare? Except it's clearly not the victims. Guardsmen must have not noticed it as they picked everything up. How's this possible? Still warm. Blood still flowing? Several monster species can regenerate. Never heard of that happening to their severed limbs, though. More of their limbs seeming completely alive after so much time. Examine the tissue more closely later. Might learn something. So, Murderer was clearly a monster, but not a Bruxa. But then why'd the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? And who does the hand belong to? Why the hell's it still warm? Now, Pouch shoved down the victim's throat. What's the significance? And why was he chopped up into pieces? Lots of questions, no answers so far. Need to know about the other victims. I'll ask Palmerin to get me in to see the Duchess. I'm out and it's a beautiful morning. Yeah, we finished Cyberpunk, Brandon. To be born into sun is to be born to be This place is popping with people. Holy crap. Professional. I like to trade with your kind. You actually appreciate quality workmanship. I could have craft something for me, would you? So he can't do the Grandmaster stuff? Damn, that sword's actually pretty damn good.
Whoops, I didn't. What, what sword did I just sell? Iris. Yeah, let me get that back. Shit. It takes so much of my damn gold because I actually misclicked, but it's all good. accidentally selling shit I don't want to sell. What? Why didn't I use this Viper Sword? Oh, I just think I didn't... Oh, yeah, we just didn't equip it yet. I forgot all about that thing. What have you got there? We gotta get that squared away. Yeah, we got to get our Viper Sword, uh, first of all, repaired, and we got to get it, uh, with the runes on it and shit, or the stuff in the rune carver. Care for a quick round of Gwent? Oh, man, another Skellige deck? cards I drew were kind of meh. Damn, he's going to transform both of those on me, isn't he? Oh, he's going to transform three of them. That's going to that's gonna be big points if he does that. Damn it. Right when I was about to do a siege push.
I got something for his ass. How you like that? How you like that? And why are they... Got him. We got him. These Skellige decks are rough, man. Good man. I need a fresh set of shoes for my mouth. Oh! Armor chromed, engraved or fluted, whatever your heart's desire. You know we gotta play. Oh, we gotta play them all, guys. Round of Gwent. Might as well. Over here. We've gone so many episodes without any Gwent. And I'm really... Oh, there we go. Nilfgaard. Woo! Woo! Don't have to worry about no Skellige decks. No! Oh, shit. I actually wanted to swap out this. Whatever. Maybe it's all for the best. It's gonna be the battle of spies here. Here we go, guys. The battle of spies. Nice. Cause I didn't want to throw that nine back on the side. That would have been kind of annoying. There it is. I'll, I'll, I'll let him pass on that all day, dude, because now he's going to have to 100% use all of his cards the next round. Oh. Are you ready for, I'm about to get two more cards, too. We're about to get another spy. Yo, this is the most spies I've ever played. That's a big spy to give him a nine, but it's okay because I plan on burning it with dragon.
So we'll burn that 18 with Dragon. Even the playing field a little bit. He's about to face my deck at like full power. All right. Legitimately full power, guys. Like, I literally have no cards left. I have my whole deck on display right now, guys. The whole thing. I just gotta be careful on how I play this because I don't want to get overzealous and get zapped with like a Scorch too early. Bait, I'm going to try to bait Scorch out on my mid. It's going to be a big hand. I'll tell you right now, it's going to be big on both sides. Like, numbers are going to be huge. He's going to have a... I could place my golds, but... um. I want to. I'm trying to bait out a scorch now. So he's not even gonna play it. Still. There it is. There it is. See, so I wanted to bait those out now before I played these and play these. Mm, nice. Brought back another spy, dude. We stack in my deck, so. Oh shit, he canceled my God damn it, he canceled my uh, that's points that I, I was damn it. I was looking forward to doubling these up, but his freaking thing cancels my thing. I would have known that I would have played horn on the back end. I wasn't paying attention. So now this horn is sitting here for no fucking reason. Big right there. 204, guys. Big numbers. Two twenty one. Two forty-one. Those are that's some numbers right there. Nice. That's gonna be big. Two fifty-one. That's pretty much my whole deck on display. This man's drawn more cards.
Yo, I... I should have held a card. You motherfucker! Duchess, urgently. All right, you scamps. Story's done. Go find your parents. But the Pamarine. What about the story of Ritik and the dragon? A tales for another time. But take a good look at the man who stands before you now. This is Geralt of Rivia, the master witcher who lent his valiant hand to the defeat of the giant Goliath. Master Witcher. Is it true virtue always trumps villainy? Swanee donated five dollars. Brian played Gwen. <sighs> Gwen played yeah. Brian. Virtue always wins. <laughs> Swanee, dude, Black thank Knight. you so much, man. He's a villain and he wins. The cutter of Casteldaccia, too. Moral victory. That's what counts. Rubbish. Now, that will do for questions. Go find your parents. Our enlightened highness has doubtless arrived at the tourney grounds to watch the battle in the arena. If we hurry, we'll be in time to speak with her before the spectacle begins. Lead the way. Who's fighting? Elf Guardian gladiators? Close, but not quite. As we'll soon see. Someone's gonna fight a Shalemar and some elves on its tail to confuse it, slow it down? Whatever is the problem? The beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. Shalemar? Sure hope you know what you're doing. Master Beast Tamers from Milkgard Serenus to ensure the Shalemar is dazed. The lights of the cloud. Shale Mars are damned dangerous. Even young ones need to be careful. Who's going to fight the beast? Guillaume, the young man you met. Yeah. Mentioned he'd promised his heart's capture a monster trophy. Great love demands great sacrifices. Let's go. He's gonna get himself killed. I dedicate my imminent victory to fair lady Vivian. Yo, he's got a Zeewee from, uh, begun. from the Dark Souls. To end first. We must wait. Damn it. 
I don't, I, I don't, I don't know what that is. Shalmar? Yo, they're just hitting us with... Here we go. Well, we're, we're going in. Stun it. Out, brief flame, and thus the witch's life was snuffed. All our hopes, alas, had turned to dust. Oh, shit. Oh, no, the fate of the beast has been weighed by the boss. Soon the witches are triumph against the rocks. Oh, he's already blind, so I'm trying to blind him. It looked like he rolled into the wall or something and like... He sucked, bro. There we go. Dude, thank you so much, brother. How you doing, man? Got it. Well, they've introduced some pretty damn cool monsters already. We just started. It is a, a, it's a, it is a sand shoe. The sand the slash. Behold, so, the thank you for the super champ, man. From the beast. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed. A 
had suffered enough. The Masculous Plane! The fight is done! Christ be the victors! Spare him! Why would we spare him? So that they're gonna just keep torturing him. Guillaume. The lot came down too close to dying. I'm fine. Not hurt at all. Vivian? Smile as befits a hero and keep silent. Speech clearly paints you. She approaches. Geralt. We must talk. Vivian. You shall talk later, in the medic's tent. Geralt, magnificent, breathtaking. Your grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish, to have struck upon it. And I'm truly... Uh, honored. See to our young hero. Hop, hop. For we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. We had been long awaiting your arrival. Had nearly lost hope. Then suddenly, that entrance, so spectacular. Your Grace, Shalemars are dangerous creatures, even to knights in full plate armor. Nonsense. In Toussaint, knights have battled beasts for mere glory since time immemorial. True. Guillaume suffered a few bumps, scars, and bruises, but in return, gained eternal glory as he who slew the monster. Mm hmm What about the crowd? Say the Shalemar had vaulted into the stands. Would have been a massacre. Geralt, though we value your fortuitous intervention in the arena, we would remind you your services have been retained. And as shall soon become clear, you will be generously compensated for completing another task altogether. Your Grace, my contract. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. We shall need Damien. He let the investigation pending your arrival. But whatever could he be? Come, we must find him. Tell us, have you come alone? Or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Wish to see Dandelion, Your Grace? Yes. I mean, no. Ugh. <sighs> yes. But solely to tell him we regret. Yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down upon him. If we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. Ah, the very man we would entrust with these tasks. Damien de la Tour, captain of my personal guard. Your Grace, Witcher. Greetings. Sorry to have to tell you. But the guardsmen handling the last victim's body? I know already. The creature in the cellar of Corvo Bianco. Was it the beast? No. A bruxa. A kind of vampire. Not the beast, but tied to it in some way. You know this how? Through careful analysis of the evidence, both on the riverbank and at Corvo Bianco. Do you mean to insinuate the investigation thus far has been sloppy? Geralt insinuates nothing of the sort. We must listen to him, attentively. I examined the body of the beast's last victim. Might have found something. Need to analyze it. A quiet place, that's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it Sir Delatour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Secondly, you should know I spoke against summoning you here. I've heard much about you. You bring trouble, or thus far have, always. And we've enough trouble as it is. 
Yet we are capable of defeating the beast on our own, without an outsider's help. I've no doubt about it. Damien, we settled the matter of the Witcher's employ some time past. Definitively. Since you have broached it nonetheless, let us discuss Geralt's pay. Are the legends true? Do Witchers usually demand that which you find at home, yet did not expect? Not quite, Your Grace. Law of surprise? It's something we invoke at times, but rarely. Usually we just take gold. Disappointing. This law sounds rather romantic. On the other hand, on returning to the palace, we would likely find impatient petitioners or a set of sample fabrics for a new dress. Poor rewards, both. I fear you'd not have much use for any of the surprises we are likely to come upon. Thus we've decided you shall receive the deed to a vineyard, Corvo Bianco, and a sum of coin. You will doubtless consider this adequate. Title to the vineyard shall be given to you at once. Surely you'll need lodgings while you hunt. The coin, however, will be yours only once you have slain the beast. You give me a house? Lovely, generous gesture, Your Grace. <sighs> Corvo Bianco. Isn't it the Duchy's temporary morgue? Is it now? The Chancellery is bungled things again, we fear. Not to be left unsupervised for one instant. Yet, in its mood, a morgue should present minimal problems to a Witcher. What's more, nothing enhances a wine's reputation better than a grim legend. Thank you, Your Grace. I accept the contract, of course. But as I said before, I'll need some information. How'd it start? Who was the first victim? Crispy was the first to die. He was famed once for his many glorious tournament victories. Then he grew old, hung up his sword, and took to winemaking. Crespi was not loved by the wine merchants. He was ruthless in business and thought to cheat many a time. He asked us for a dispensation from all court ceremonies. We did not grant it. We could not. Once you've taken the oath of a knight, you remain a knight till death. How'd he die? Where'd they find the body? Quite unusual, the circumstance. He was at a feast when suddenly one of his fellow feast-goers noticed he was missing. The town watch found him an hour later. On his hands and knees, propped against the town pillory, his sword hanging from his neck. He had died of wounds inflicted with claws, not a weapon. Blows of great force. So he died suddenly, but the body was on its knees meaning someone posed it. So it seems. Second murder. Tell me what you know. In the city there are certain nooks. No one reasonable ventures there after dark. Ramon Dulac's corpse was found in one such place. With the first murder, terror gripped the city. Its inhabitants grew wary, kept to safe areas. Consequently, news of the second victim came to us from a group of concerned cut purses. Criminals fear the beast? Telling in a way. Take it you've excluded the possibility that Ramon died at the hands of these bandits. Do you believe what are you me, doing? Amateur? Not hands, but claws killed Ramon Dulac. The wound was deep, clean. His body was found in the gutter, dressed in nightshirt and cap. A pillow placed under his head and his sword replaced by a bed warmer. Ramon de Lac, a knight who but a dozen years past was an advisor to our father, the Duke. Someone went to a lot of trouble to make him look ridiculous. Maybe revenge was the motive. It's not out of the question. Du Lac had shady dealings with the criminal underworld, but no one ever came forth with concrete proof of any misdoings. So, the first two victims were knights, best years behind them. The same could be said of the third. Sir Delacroix was wont to claim that in modern times, knights face new challenges, enterprise being the latest addition to the chivalric virtues. He made a veritable fortune in the grain trade. Palmerin even nicknamed him Sir de la Stinci. Found a coin pouch on his body, contained florins dating from various times, hailing from different provinces of the Empire. 
Delacroix loved coin, true, but had no patience for numismatics. Lots of similarities between the victims. All the bodies were found in strange places, under extraordinary circumstances. Seems the murderer, whoever or whatever it is, has some meaning to convey. These were honorable men. We are horrified by the disdain, the disrespect with which they were treated. These were knights of Toussaint. Blast it. Might be the point. From what you say, none was a model of virtue. Ever considered that's what the beast's trying to draw attention to? All the murdered men were knights who swore fealty to the five chivalric virtues. And even if the- Knights of Toussaint swear fealty to what virtues, exactly? Honor, wisdom, generosity, valor and compassion. Five virtues. Why are they so important to your knights? Strange question. Your Grace, forgive me. I'm a foreigner trying to understand another land's customs. You are forgiven. According to legend, the virtues we cultivate were bestowed upon us by the Lady of the Lake. How we truly came to espouse them, none remember. In Toussaint, we believe men of low birth should be simple-hearted and obedient. We expect much more, however, of our knights. They are to be soldiers and courtiers, lords and servants. Thus, the need for clear moral guidelines. At the time of his dubbing, a knight vows to demonstrate throughout his life honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. Hmm. Beast seems to be pointing up moral decay, denouncing it. Victims were all humiliated. Might have been murdered to emphasize their lack of specific chivalric virtues. Honor compromised by the pillory. Wisdom by ridicule. Generosity by a coin pouch shoved down a throat. It seems to fit, true, though not perfectly. Can't discount the theory if it's on the lips of everyone in town. Say our reasoning's right. Next murder will be just as showy and denounce the victim's lack of the fourth virtue, valor. We can also assume that victim will be an elder knight. Let's think. At the moment, all the knights are either at the tourney grounds or in the palace gardens. Our annual hare hunt shall begin there shortly. Have you heard of the custom? Milton mentioned something. Seemed excited to prance around in a bunny costume. Not sure why. Hang on. Strange circumstances. A knight advanced in years. The famed cowardice of rabbits. Could it be that simple? Is Milton de Peyrac Peyren the next victim? Milton also knew Delacroix. Told me so down by the river. Damien! To me something so obvious. De Peyrac Peyren, Crespi, Delacroix and De Lac formed a knightly team. It was years ago, but... They were a team? They were close friends, tightly knit, and as such earned the trust of our father, the Duke. We often witnessed him turn to them with delicate matters. Later, their paths diverged. Unlikely to be a coincidence. Beast must know it too. It's a lead, I'm sure. Your Grace, yeah. we need to find Milton How you doing, Zach? immediately. Rather problematic. You see, the garden entertainments are due to start, and he's disguised as the hare, hiding somewhere, waiting for some tipsy courtiers to find him. The hare's hiding place is a carefully guarded secret. We must call off the game, at once. First and foremost, we must remain calm. Damien, order the garden searched immediately, but discreetly. By no means can we disrupt the festivities. Panic will only incite the beast to strike sooner. And you, Witcher, follow me. My gardens, my knight, I shall take the fall. A murder is out of the question. I will not allow it. Not near my palace. Horses? Ready our horses! Your Grace! <gasps> what the hell? Why, I should... Your Highness, I... Mind it doesn't get wrinkled. Hey! The 
That is silk! Be careful! Give it to me! Guess the voice of the Duchess? I have no clue. Foster, get Your grace seems right, right at home wind. in the saddle. Clear the path! Clear the way, I said! Did you guess, sir? Is this part of the game? It's here! Just round the corner! Hurry! We must go to where the game is being held. The participants must find a unicorn's horn, a golden fish, and a phoenix egg. With these in hand, they can deduce where the hare, Milton, hides. Mean we need to find those things too? We've no other option, but time is of the essence, so we shall have to break the rules. Oh! Second thought, through here. I shall show you where the hunt plays out. Then we will split up. You will get hold of the unicorn horn and the golden fish. While I nab the phoenix egg. That will be quickest. Golden fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Geralt. It's not a real fish. Look there, towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. The unicorn. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. Turn around, over there, look! The Colton fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other Phoenix egg hunters. All clear? Then let's get to it. Fiorano of the 1290 vintage. I do encourage you to try it. work or some sweets we would not be in this predicament dear sister were you still a virgin do you really wish to have this conversation again here and now hush or you'll spook the beast we shall try the sweets hey folks gonna have to ruin your fun sorry who's that Who's Axie? Flagrant cheating is what it is! Sirs, we must teach this scamp some proper sportsmanship. Listen, he didn't break any rules. True, he won fair and square. We were unlucky, that's all. We must try to grab the next clue. Go. 
gardens are huge. Be better off on horseback. Unworthy. Entirely inappropriate behavior. A complete collapse of social norms. Should be easy to spot once I'm under. What the places? Did someone just dive in the water? Perhaps that's the way to do it. Sure. Hey, wait. Stop. It's important. King Cormorant Sire, accept this offering we bring. Prithee cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon its heavenly course doth trace, in my domain I await that moment of grace when a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift, fitting tribute. A key. Why, <laughs> you stretch? He's ruined the game! Disgraceful. I mean, he didn't have to be such a savage about it. Faster. A fruitful hunt to you, Witcher. If you please, Your Grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. Geralt! At last. Got a key and a clue. And I've another. Show me yours. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Begin to groan like a hollowed out ease. The end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. What did I tell you guys last time? Huh? What did I tell you guys? I don't fuck with riddles. Where is he? Where is he? No! No, there's no chance the second you see a fucking riddle pop up in any video, I better see the answer just blow up in the chat. It just be just the answer. Everybody post the answer all at one time. If you ever see a riddle. Like you don't even got to wait. You don't even got to wait for the dialogue to be done. All right. Greenhouse. There it is. Five. Wait. All of the. <laughs> Let's 
see. Grown. With ease gives us green, right? And mouse with the head of hard cheese. I don't see how that's how. No, You're I, a genius. I don't see how that Seven even makes fucking sense, dude. That doesn't even make sense. Only one looks, the key to which looks just like the one we found. Let's go. Like, how the hell do you get greenhouse out of that? Ugh, dude. It's so dumb. Wait here. another one of them oh what the butch that <laughs> should have made no sense what was that Hey, Swanee, get that good sleep, man. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight, brother. I'm here. This belonged to you, maybe? It did, but you may keep it. I've a new one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? Plenty. Even more of the guilty, though. You're next. Hmm. I think not. You see, I've something to do still. More murders? Just one. So it's a Bruxa, too? Not counting yours. <laughs> 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 Okay, okay, okay.
I'm not. to stay where you are. Regenerate! I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself. No, he's my friend. Yes, Geralt. It's me. Regis? I... You all right? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak four, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm.
miraculous regeneration. How do you manage it? I had help. From the one you hunt. Him? How? And what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. So you being here, it's no coincidence. Get that good sleep, Eric. Your Thank you so much, man. Your deductions seem to have waned, not one bit. I'm happy. I came here for Detlov. I fear he's become entangled. Landed himself in serious trouble. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand. Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. Seem pretty damn sure of that. I am, because I know him very well. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Remember the year 964? <laughs> that was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost two hundred, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct, his tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Anything specific? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. <laughs> suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out. Gotta find him before something upsets him even more, and all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. 
Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I've makeshift quarters at Mer Lachey's Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. Ahem! <clears throat> Sirs! We must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. So... What is that dude's name? The Detlev is the one that we just met. Um, what is he? Oh, he's a higher vampire. So is this dude that we're working with now, is he also a higher vampire? Yeah, he's also a higher vampire. So higher vampires are like top tier, right? He was killed by Vagelforts, who reduced him to nothing more than a wet stain. So I got a question. Was Regis always a vampire, even when he was um quote unquote in the in the team with Geralt in search of Siri? Was he a vampire then too? Has he always been a higher vampire? So vampires are pretty much demigods. Oh, he was a vampire then too? Oh, shit. So when did Regis die? Was that was that in one of the Witcher games or was that like before the games? Maybe we'll see Regis in um Regis isn't yeah, no, he hasn't shown up in the the Witcher series yet, right? Oh, he's in the it's in the books. So okay. I wonder if we'll meet Regis in the Witcher TV series. Damn, got butchered by um by angry villagers. Regenerating from that took him fifty years. Or nearly no time at all for an immortal. Uh so you can you can jack up a higher vampire. Like you could really, really mess them up. Um, but they don't they're they're immortal, so it just takes them a long ass time to heal, you know. Like, if you chop them up into little pieces, eventually it'll, he'll probably take them a couple hundred years to regenerate, but eventually they'll regenerate. He had regenerated to come to Jusant. Yeah. That's pretty cool, though. That's pretty cool. We got to... 
We got to get our first taste of uh of a uh, higher vampire. And get a kind of an understanding on how they work. Okay, let me check my quests. Yeah, we got a bunch of these we gotta take care of. Um Did I get any Witcher Oh yeah, we got this one. Big game hunter. So we'll probably do that next episode too. Guys, almost 250 likes. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Tell it sell torches. Yeah, I don't plan on. Yeah, I, I I was pissed off that I freaking lost my other torch. No treasure hunts. All right, guys. So it is midnight. Uh, I'm gonna end it here for tonight. We got our feet into the DLC. Uh, like I said, I'll be playing this again. Uh, uh, how it'll work is pretty much every other day. So uh, I'll be doing Fallout Witcher one day, um, Elden Ring, and something else another day. Um, and then we'll just kind of cycle that, kind of get a nice fast rotation of the games going. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited to get in here. This map is beautiful. Uh, so much story. Being able to work with vampires and like this, this is gonna be great. Cause I, I love like vampires i'm a huge fan of like the originals and stuff like that so and they're immortal vampires you know what i mean it's it's, it's really really cool if you guys haven't watched the originals it's, it's dope it's dope my man niklaus he's he's a savage but again guys thank you so much for hanging out today um i hope you guys enjoyed today you know a bunch of new content and uh if you haven't, a hey, smash that like button on the way out. Um, I got Thunder Cheek, Assassin's Creed, and Elder Ring. Well, so how we're working it right now, Thunder Cheek, is uh, I got State of Decay 1 Breakdown, rolling 2. So I'm going to play that a couple times a week. So on the days I play Elden Ring, I'm going to play like State of Decay. And then I'm not going to play State of Decay every day I play Elden Ring. But then on the next day, maybe we'll play like a horror game or something else small. I'm not going to start like a huge series to run side by side with um, Elden Ring. But Assassin's Creed 2 is definitely something that I might consider um, playing and uh, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But uh, again, guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys, like I said, are enjoying all the content. Uh, I'm going to go get me some sleep. Hopefully wake up feeling a little bit better tomorrow. But yeah, like I said, smash that like button if you haven't. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.